ഒരു മണിക്കൂർ പോയ ഒരു ലൈക്കിന്റെ അടുത്തല്ല പക്ഷെ അങ്ങോട്ട് മാത്രം കൊണ്ടോളില്ല Hey folks, as I had planned to visit Interlaken on day 3, because of a weather forecast of rain, I decided to shift my journey and do Lotebrunnen on day 3. So I was checking out the clue cap for some travel deals, but honestly it seemed a bit pricey. Hence I decided to go rogue and explore Switzerland at my own pace. Today, we are shifting our base to the picturesque village of Lotebrunnen. To get there, you will need to take a train from Bern to Interlaken and then take a second train from Interlaken to Lotebrunnen. So, I hopped on the train from Bern to Lotebrunnen and let me tell you, the journey was nothing sort of divine. The train wound its way through lush valleys and towering mountains each turn revealing a new masterpiece of god's creation I think the decision to switch Interlaken for another day was just perfect as the skies turned cloudy and it is best to watch the beautiful landscape of Lotebrunnen under a, a cloudy sky with drizzles here and there. Lotebrunnen is a quaint village nestled in a small valley between steep hills. The old beautiful houses and pruned valley grass add to its charm. It's like stepping into a postcard. The village boasts over 10 main waterfalls and 70 plus smaller ones. First stop, Stobak Falls. The half air card is a life saver giving you 50% of most trains buses and boats so you can buy it from your home country and then keep it in your phone whenever there is a check in and for all your swiss travel you need to only buy a half air ticket instead of a full fare one but just be reminded that you will be checked 
a dozen times by the Swiss railways. The cost of a Swiss half air pass is 140 CHF. With the half air card, you can explore Zurich, Geneva, Lucerne, and all the other cities. However, an additional pass called the Berner Oberland Pass, perfect for exploring Lauterbrunn and Grindelwald and Interlaken, will make it a free travel for most of the rides, buses, and boats in this particular region called Berner Oberland. Then there is also the Swiss Travel Pass which offers unlimited travel on consecutive days. And if you buy this, you wouldn't need to buy any ticket at all for your entire travel in most of the buses, boats and rails. However, it is pricey. The Stobach Falls are simply mesmerizing. The water cascades down from a height creating a misty veil that dances in sunlight. It even seems like a reverse waterfall, water going up because of the wind. And the day was just perfect with all the clouds and mist. There's a small cemetery nearby and I found myself contemplating the idea of being buried here surrounded by such natural beauty. There's a steep walkway up to the base of the falls and I couldn't resist experimenting with my new lenses and DJI device for Android. By noon time the sky cleared and the sun came out and the shots just turned out amazing. Second stop, Trummelback Falls. Next I visited the Trummelback Falls hidden inside a mountain the sheer power of the water rushing through the rock is awe-inspiring. For lunch, I headed to Food Point Kebab in Lotobrana. For just 18 CHF, I enjoyed the best kebab and free Wi-Fi. After lunch, I took a train to Wengen. The return ticket cost 7.20 CHF. Wengen is in my opinion one of the best places in Switzerland.
I listened to some gospel music while looking down at Lotte Brunnen and the view was nothing short of heavenly. I even took a nap on a bench letting the serene surroundings lull me into a peaceful rest. Next stop, Manlikin. From Wengen, I took a gondola to Manlikin for 14.50 CHF. The ride offered stunning panoramic views of the Alps. Standing at the top, I felt a deep spiritual connection as if I was closer to the Creator amidst these majestic peaks. Soon, the foggy mist swooped in and the vision was very low as we need to speak aloud to let someone near know that you are actually here. And then I took the last gondola ride back down to Wengen at 6 pm.
Finally, I made my VAC to Interlock. The train ride cost me 3.90 CHF. For dinner, I found a cozy spot at Coop Supermarket. In fact, they call it Coop, but it's actually Co-op. This supermarket offers great takeaways and again free Wi-Fi. I had a somewhat okay meal for just 10 CHF. As the day draws to a close, I reflect on the beauty of Lotopranam and the surrounding areas. Each waterfall, each mountain peak and each quiet moment felt like a brushstroke of the creator's masterpiece. Truly, in the heart of nature, I found a deeper connection to God and his magnificent creation.